do we have any fiscal slack? Uh, the short answer is no. Mr. Leong Man Wai claimed that we have excess fiscal resources. Uh, the government had spent $72 billion to fight COVID-19, of which $40 billion came from past reserves. So he inferred that we had $32 billion of spare resources lying around. But that is mistaken. And let me explain. Uh, during the pandemic, our society and economy were in an entirely different state. Projects were deferred, and many planned and budgeted activities could not be carried out. So the government reallocated these resources towards the more urgent task of fighting COVID-19. Now that we are in DOSC on green, these funds have to be channeled back to what they were originally meant for. So there is no slack here. Uh, Mr. Leong also claimed that the $24 billion injected into funds in FY 2022 and FY 2023 were excess resources, as the actual expenditure from these funds would only occur in the future. Again, this is not accurate. All spending in the budget, be it direct expenses or top-ups to funds, are resources we set aside to meet real needs be it to strengthen safety nets, improve productivity, or build up critical infrastructure. On the expenditure side, we expect government spending that is now at 18% of GDP to reach 20% by 2030. In fact, even prior to the publication of the occasional paper, I had already highlighted this information. But here I should emphasize that the, it's important to look at these fiscal projections and as a percentage of GDP and not in nominal dollar terms, which Mr. Leong had done. And he had suggested that we had somehow been imprudent in our spending because our spending now exceeds $100 billion compared to pre-COVID levels of about $85 billion. What a large increase, he says. But surely he must understand that nominal spending will increase with inflation and with a growing economy. In fact, between FY 2019 and now, our spending remains at about the same proportion of GDP, which is around 18%. But looking ahead, with an aging population and rising healthcare costs, we expect this to rise to around 20% of GDP by 2030.